Okay, so uh, we can solve this problem using trig substitution, but we can do it quicker using geometry. So I'll do the latter first, which is I'll use geometry to solve this integral very quickly. And then um, in a different video, I'll show you how to do it using trig sub, yeah? Okay, cool. All right, so here goes. Um, first, we can write the given integral as square root of 3 times integral from 0 to 2 of square root of um, 4 minus x squared dx. You should know how I got the square root of 3. Clearly, in here, 3 is a common factor. So after factoring out a 3 from these two guys, if you take out the 3 from the square root, uh, then it becomes square root of 3 here first, and then we could put it in front of the integral, right? Okay, okay. Now, uh, if we let this guy be equal to y, then we have y is equal to the square root of um, 4 minus x squared. And then, if we square both sides of this, we get y squared is equal to 4 minus x squared. And adding x squared to both sides, we see that we have x squared plus y squared is equal to uh, 4. So this is in the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, which is the equation of a circle centered at hk with center hk and radius r. So looking at this here, since this is 2 squared, we see that the radius of this circle is 2 and it's centered clearly at the origin. So we go, all right, we know what that looks like. So um, centered at the origin, if I go uh, radially 2 in every direction, I'd have something like this, right? And then I draw a circle. I missed. No. Okay. We'll live. We'll live. Okay. So this is it, right? Now, uh, since we have positive square root, uh, we're concerning the top half of the circle. The negative square root would be the bottom half of the circle. So we don't need this bottom half is what I'm saying. Um, this here defines the top half of the circle. Y equals root 4 minus x squared. Yeah? Okay, 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 cool. So, uh, setting this aside for a second, then what does this definite integral mean? It means the area from 0 to 2 underneath this curve, but this curve is defined by that, right? So, it's just saying this area from 0 to 2, because this here is clearly 2, right? And that's a quarter of pi. So, its area is pi times r squared, so pi times 2 squared, divided by four because it's a quarter pi and so that's pi times four over four so the area in here is equal to pi right uh, this area is equal to pi right cool 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 and then we have uh, the root three in front of the integral so the value of this integral right is pi and then times root three is uh, pi root three yeah okay cool all right as i said the other way to solve this is using trig sub and i'll do that next Okay, so we've already seen this integral and how to solve it using uh, geometry, equation of a circle, right? In fact, I left the answer there because this time we're going to do it using trig substitution and we're going to confirm that we get the same answer, which we should, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so uh, just um, as the first solution, uh, to start we can write uh, root 3 here and then square root of uh, 4 minus x squared as our integrand, right? Okay, cool. And then now the trig substitution is this, which is we are going to let x equal 2 sine uh, theta. You'll see why this is helpful. First, uh, for x equals 2 sine theta, notice that dx is equal to 2 cosine theta d theta, right? So first we have that. And then next is since x is equal to uh, 2 sine theta, it means that 4 minus x squared is equal to uh, 4 minus, well, this squared, and that's 4 sine squared theta, so 4 sine squared theta. Now you should see why we wanted a 2 in front of the sine, because uh, of that, right? And then next we could factor out the 4 and write 4 times 1 minus sine squared theta, and now you see why. Um, the substitution with sine is helpful because 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta. So this here is uh, 4 times uh, cosine squared theta, right? Okay. Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. And so uh, since this here is equal to that, uh, square root of 
Um, that is the same as square root of this, which is the same as square root of this, which, uh, sorry y'all, like too picky about my writing. Okay, so that's what, two cosine theta? So we see that our integral is uh, root three, and then for a second, I'm gonna abandon the limits of integration because we've switched from x to uh, theta. So I'll remember uh, that the limits are zero to two once we get back to x, yeah? Okay, 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 cool, cool. So, so, so um, this we just said is that, but that's two cosine theta. So we have two cosine theta replacing this fellow here, right? Okay, and then dx we already said is two cosine theta. Okay, so uh, two cosine theta and d theta of course okay now that two and that two we could take out as a four right so we have four root three and then this here is just cos squared d theta right cos squared uh d theta Okay, now I have a video series called Important Integrals for a reason. Uh, they're important. And uh, one of them is uh, cosine squared. So I already showed you how to do the integral of cosine squared um, x. And so you should know how to do cosine squared theta. Okay, all right. So, 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 so I'm not going to show you how to do that here. Uh, but because I'm a nerd, I do happen to remember what it is. And it's uh, a quarter uh, sine 2 theta and then uh, plus a half theta, all right? Okay, now, if I distribute uh, this four, then I could get rid of that quarter right there, get rid of this four, right? And this is gonna turn into four over two or two, right? Two theta, right? Okay, and I still have my root three out here, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But so distant, um, root three. Okay, now let's evaluate this from, from um, well, no, we're not ready to evaluate it because uh, we're still about theta. We got to get back to x's. Now, since x is equal to 2 sine theta, notice that x over 2, and I really don't need this, right? So I need the space. But yeah, since x is 2 sine theta, notice that x over 2 is equal to sine theta. But then this means in turn that sine inverse of x over 2, sine inverse of x over 2, is equal to theta, right? All right, cool, cool, cool. So uh, we see that what I have here is the same as uh, root three times sine of two times sine inverse of x over two, right? Plus two times sine inverse of x over two. Okay, now I am completely back to x's, so I could put the evaluation um, part, right? Okay, so we're going from zero to two. Zero to two, right? Okay, so we plug in two and then we plug in zero and take the difference. What happens when we plug in two? We get uh, root three, right? Times sine of two times sine inverse of two over two, um, right? Uh, but sine inverse of 2 over 2 is sine inverse of 1. And sine inverse of 1 is pi over 2, right? Um, so we've got um, sine inverse of 2 over 2, which is sine inverse of 1, is pi over 2. But then we've got this 2. So 2 times pi over 2. So that's pi, right? Okay. So uh, I have that. And then um, we go uh, plus 2 times sine inverse of, again, uh, 2 over 2, but 2 over 2 uh, is 1, so it's sine inverse of 1, which is pi over 2 again, but I have this 2 here, so uh, 2 times uh, pi over 2, right, like that. Okay, and then uh, I'm done plugging in the 2, so I plug in 0. Now, when I plug in 0, sine inverse of 0 over 2 is same as sine inverse of 0, which is 0, right? Okay, so sine inverse of 0 is 0, so 2 times that is 0, so sine of 0 is 0. Okay, so it's 0 in this part when I plug in 0. What about here? Same thing, right? Sine inverse of 0 over 2 is sine inverse of um, 0, which is 0, so 2 times that is still 0, so I'm subtracting. Nada. Right? Okay. And sine of pi is also zero. Jesus, all this writing for no reason. So this is zero. So our final answer is going to be, it's going to be, I was missing a parenthesis here, uh, right? Because, uh, yeah, 
the root 3 is multiplying all of that, right? So I was missing a parenthesis right here. Yeah, okay. Hopefully um, you're not mad at me about that. But yeah, root 3 times 2 times pi over 2 is um, pi times root 3. Pi times root 3, right? Okay, same answer as before. Yeah, okay, cool. Keep watching. Take care.